Combing and brushing all of the wigs is something that Ann Lucheski looks forward to every time she volunteers at the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, when they first come in, you can tell. You can tell they're coming for a wig. So we come into this room, we usually close the door and just kind of feel them out for what they're looking for. Sometimes they come in, they know exactly what they want. Other times they come in and they have no idea. So we just play around with the different wigs and they're usually pretty nervous and pretty down. And when you find something that they like, it's so nice. That when they leave, they're just so happy. It's so rewarding. It's very rewarding. The Canadian Cancer Society has two different kinds of wigs to choose from. There's synthetic and there's real hair. The real hair wigs are made up of hair that was once donated. More often than not, people tend to go with the synthetic. They're just a little bit easier to look after because all, all you have to do is wash them. You can't heat, put them near heat. You can't, um, if you open the stove, you have to be really careful. They might singe, and, but real hair is just like, just like using our own hair. You can curl them, you can style them. Turbans are a scarf or a, a hat of some kind um, that we have. So often people, when they're at home or uh, when the winter months arrive and it gets a little bit colder, they ne not necessarily want to wear um, the wigs. Um, so when they're home, they may want to just wrap their head in one of the scarves or the turbans. Anyone that's in active cancer treatment can come into the office. Some people come in, they haven't even lost their hair yet. So they haven't even got to that stage in their treatment, but they're preparing, right? They know that it's, uh, it's something that's going to be expected and so they're, they're trying to prepare ahead of time. And so they'll come in and we'll bring them into the room. Um, usually they're with a family member or a friend. It's very traumatic when someone's going through uh, chemotherapy and radiation and, and losing their hair, especially for ladies. Often when they're coming in, they're not feeling well or um, it's a devastating time. So um, they're not, you know, in the happiest of frames of mind, but then we come in and there's a turnaround that happens in this little room that you know suddenly there's laughter and uh, we find some that are goofy looking and just not right and um, it sort of breaks that tension and, and makes brings them to a happy place again. For more information on the wigs and turbans program you can pop into the Canadian Cancer Society's office or give them a call. Reporting for Go Thunder Bay, I'm Sarah MacArthur.